I don't want to go back down to the bottom. Can I just not? Oh, man. It's the shitty part of the house. Nobody likes it. It's even got a gate on it. All the other floors don't have gates on them. Eh. At least I've largely divorced myself of the fear of actually being under attack all the time. Now I know this may- I know, I know this gross- Whoa, that was weird. Oh, hey, Rose. A real deal? Why leave it here? Weird. Hello, Rose. That's a curiosity. But yeah, now I've been around here enough that I can probably confidently be like, whatever, and just run around without constantly being afraid of what's gonna happen to me. I think. Whereas the first time- because now I'm, now I'm extra convinced that's a weird flesh mob creature that's being used to breed organs. Which is horrifying, but not in like it's going to stab me and eat me kind of way. Whereas when I was here last time, I had just dealt with hacking into that one woman's mind. And that was our one monster segment so far, where I had to run away from a monster. And then after that, I, he started- the wolf, wolf started attacking me, so I'm like, oh shit, this game has a monster now. But it never really came up for a while now, it's been like hours. But at the moment, I'm not overly concerned anymore about being under attack. Until I get more... ...reason to think that that will happen. Like right here... Is this the right one? 28? I forgot what the code was. Um, I hit right mouse bumper, which is quit, not middle. So why are you hacking? Stop hacking, please. There we go. 7441. Alright, I should use one of these guys because I'm all red all the time. I feel like I'm always in the red zone all the time in this game. Strain level decreased. It honestly feels like I go straight back to being in the red zone like immediately, which is weird. Oop. What's up? Creepy basement. Uh, there it is. Fuck. A living organ farm. It must be an agony. Yep, that's pretty terrifying. Blah. Uh. <laughs> it's so creepy. It's a really big pig head too, by the way. Look how big this pig is. Jesus. Okay, so this ra this raises all sorts of questions about society, basically, because of course, like. We're talking about a society where, like, if you think about it, this pig is helping people in that it's giving people a bunch of organs that apparently actually work and lengthen their lives. So, like, if you're okay with with animal experimentation and suffering, then, like, this is, like, a ridiculously effective way of helping a lot of people. You know that with the technology of this society, the, the, this has to exist in much more reasonable ways all over the world. And, like, this is the last resort version of this nightmare scenario, which is that it's some guy that rents out some chunk of basement where he puts an agony pig for all the time, and it's just, like, sitting in the mud and flies and rot and garbage, constantly spewing out organs, and that's the organs they're getting, which is, like, dangerous and could be a danger to the people involved, but he is arguably saving lives. You could... You could argue this is helping people, and is in some way a good thing. Even though it's the most horrifying thing ever. Uh, not only is it a flesh mob nightmare tumor sack monster creature, but like, then this is the additional detail, like it's like... It's being confined in like a VR... thing? For some reason? It's a little distracting how it's doing one animation over and over again forever, that's slightly weird. Uh... Like, they put it in a fake, like, VR setting? What, to, like, hide the f where it is? I kind of wonder about that part. Are they worried what'll happen if the pig actually knew where it was and what's going on? And does the pig have to be... I can't help wonder, does the pig have to be conscious of what's going on? Why isn't the pig just a vegetable? Like, 
in all honesty, if they can save tons of people this way, I'm not sure if I'm entirely against the idea of there being like some sort of unconscious creature that just grows organs for its entire life and stuff like that. Because like, we already like breed and slaughter animals constantly. So like, if you're accepting that, then this isn't a completely crazy thing as a way of saving people's lives. How the hell human organs come out of this thing is kind of terrifying. But why is it alive and suffering? Like, why is it uh, consciously aware of what's going on? It's You can tell why he was researching bed sores, because this thing doesn't really move. Uh, but why does it have to be conscious and moving constantly? Why can't you just, like, hook it up to an IV and have it in a vegetative state forever so you're not, like, literally torturing a creature all the time? Like, for a number of reasons. One, the constant horror feeling probably can put it into shock, right? Like, you could just lose the entire thing if it if it overwhelms. But also, you're increasing the chance of people finding it because it's constantly screaming all the time. Just all the time. Just all the time. Just screaming and screaming. Ugh. This is just a horrible nightmare room. And everything sucks. How many fridges do you have here? Is this what you're feeding it? Ghoul? Geeky? G-U-I? Oh, every single co copy of it is... is distorted and broken in the same way. Oh, hey! Barbara Miklas. This is the food they're feeding this flesh mob. Can I not close it? Oh, weird, I have to... I had to scroll up to close it. Weird, like, reverse controls. I don't know, it's- they're- even they're- though they're fake. And no- oh, layers of- Is that layers of fear or layers of fear 2? Is that supposed to suggest they're making a sequel? Or just a reference to their previous game, Medium? They making a game called Medium? Or is that the- is that a book someone wrote? Not heavy on the tech around here. Kept the critter sedated, but it crashed when the lockdown hit. Okay, so it normally wasn't freaking out all the time. Subhuman life form. <laughs> Thanks. Sus domesticus, 520 kilograms, 174 cent centimeters endangered species. Proceed with caution. Heart rate unstable, extreme mental distress. Yeah, because it's apparently not supposed to be awake, so he was sedating it. That's the sane thing to do. This thing shrieking in the basement forever would not really go over well. Can I do something with this thing? They're giving me a, r a red and a green button, basically. If I reboot, the sedation program should resume. Or I could unplug it. Put it out of its misery. Are you sure you want to restart simulation? Yes. Yes? That sedates it? A 3D world of just nature? I mean, it's not constantly shrieking anymore, but how is it? Is it not an agony right now? Re the reboot simulation. Oh yeah, the morphine. That's the part. That's just the simulation. That, that's the vis. That's the visual simulation. This is the part that stops the pain. Are you chilled now? I can't tell what that is. Then my oh, that's 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 the thing that kills it. You also probably kill it by plugging unplugging that. Ah, uh, Jesus. Uh, well, well, this is horrifying. But hey, uh, it might save a bunch of children too. So like, I mix. This is this is such a fucking gray area. It's a very easy question if you're, like, vegan or something, and you're like, uh, no bad things ever can happen to animals, our society can't ever let that happen, but... 
as somebody that's kind of accepting that our our society does constant shit to animals all the time, and that's how we're that's how we're alive. The idea that a pig is being used as an organ farm is like not completely insane, but the constant shrieking and screaming is like ah fuck. Ah, uh, well, this is pretty. I don't feel good about it. I'm, I'll tell you that much. But fuck, the email is about like the people that it saves and shit, and like how like. I wouldn't want this to exist in real life, in particular, but in a cyberpunk fantasy world, like, in cyberpunk settings, the economy is always fucked, and people are always suffering, and grand corporations control all the vital resources, and no one can get them unless they go to crime and underhanded things, so, like, this is... In a cyberpunk setting, this is, like, a reality for a lot of people, is that this is the only chance they have at saving their family members and stuff like that. And that's something I've learned over the handful of cyberpunk things I've played and seen so far. So based on that, it tips this towards being slightly more reasonable in this setting than it is, uh, outside of the setting. Got an achievement called Pearls Before Swine. Well. You're welcome, neighbors. Really quieted that down, didn't I? Now it's way more cl sound, weird sound. Well, now it's way more clearly a uh, a pig. It stood out as being a pig immediately too, but it was of course building on the fear of the wolf being around. But now it's just a chill little pig snorting about doing things. How do I leave again? I'm super lost. I'm always lost in this on this in this basement. How does anyone figure out how to get out of this place? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? I believe I've missed some stuff around here. That not was that was not a good time. That was I'm gonna I'm gonna go. That was not a good time at all. I turned around again. Let's see. Let's go out the right. I feel like I've never been here yet correctly. I'm trying to be as completionist as I can before I hunt down the killer because I don't know how much game is left. Can I open that door? Nope. Dan Lazarski, KPD. Is anyone in there? Uh, no! There's no one here! Uh... Did I not hear a pretty little girl just now? <laughs> you okay? Your parents not home? No, just me. What's your name? Paulina. And you're Dan. That's right. How old are you, Paulina? Thirty-four. <laughs> Nine, you silly! So you're all alone in there? Yes. Well, not really. I'm playing with Fieta. Your little sister? No. She's my friend, silly. From school? <laughs> no! She's a special friend. Only I can see her. Ah, uh, that kind of friend. I had an invisible friend, too, when I was your age. Called him Tom. <laughs> Pieta thinks you're full of shit. Are you upset? Will you be all right? I'm, I'm scared. The lights went out. It's just a power outage. Um, I, the building's not feeling well. No! Something is happening. I, I feel... Weird. Paulina. Stop it! I can't! It won't let me out. What's going on in there? 1074. 1074. What? Okay. Uh, combination? There's no combination here. 
Uh, that screen is an eyeball sometimes. Chiron lets you do more. Can't call this one? 1074. Let's give it a shot. Ah, so that's where the code's for. Hello. Any horrible monsters in here? Just, I gotta ask nowadays. There's a little girl and a guy with a iron leg. Meta or mech leg, at least. That's a really creepy picture to have just glowing in the corner like that. Kamala Mick unpronounceable name. I'm not proficient with net with language. Party room, I guess? That does surprisingly little to light up the room. What a weird feeling. Is this what future music sounds like? AKA garbage? Well, at least I got that. Another one of you guys, huh? Is this slowing down or something? It sounds like it is. Just a creepy sound. Who are these people that keep putting cans back in their fridge all the time? I question this entire society. Maybe it deserves to fall. refilled. Probably should use one again, right? Yeah. I'm constantly in the red zone. That was weird. I had like a pop-up of a, uh... Do I ever escape the red zone? It look, looks like I have, I have less strain at least now. There's a weird pop-up of a key code for a second that I wasn't sure about. What if whatever was getting into her head is getting into my head? That's why this everything sounds so weird. You don't open, huh? That's weird. Is there a line coming from you or anything? Weird details on the floor, but that's about it. Maybe you have like a correct answer? Not sure what your deal is. Turning off the music, let me in. There's no visual lock. There, for now it's turned off. 
Nope, not enough. So I'm guessing maybe it's a puzzle? I have to input the correct answer somehow? I just figured there must be some correct frequency where it sounds like real music. I think that's just a volume slider. What is your deal? That's it, right? It's just these guys? That's like all that's in here? And I gotta figure something out, because like some girl seems to be in trouble right now. hell is going on? I've got to be missing something around here because nothing lets me do anything. Oh, hey. Medical grade inhaler. Substance 45F. Some stickers or something around it? Okay, that sound is getting to me. I'm trying to search this room and it's constantly whining in my ears. Is there like a button hidden in somewhere? Why can't I open this door? What is going on? Last time there was like a trail coming out of it. I'm not really getting anything this time at all. Don't think I have any clues to go off of. Kind of stuck. Can I flip switches? There's like a whole breaker here. Come on. Oh, wait a minute. That's the door I came in in. And that's the door I tried. This is a different door. There's three doors in this room. I lost track of this one in the darkness and thought this was the door I came in through. Uh, excuse me? This thing is fucking fried. The lockdown probably didn't do it any favors. Better not touch it. Life signs unstable, A plus blood type female. 172 uh, centimeters. Is there a flashlight in here? Light switch.
Oh. You're lighter than you were a moment ago, I think. Lots of scars. Seems to be an older woman. Significantly older than the little girl. Ah, <gasps> I found one of the spider computers. Where's... Where... Where... Are you the computer? Was that the computer over there? Right, computers look weird in this game. Alright. First things first, the important thing. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I'm only missing one. I'm worried about, like, not finding them all. What the hell is happening on the screen? Okay. So this whole direction on the bottom is safe, and there's no one here to spot me. Never mind, I'm dead. Went a little too far there. Okay, so... They have infinite range, and there's one of them in one, two, three, four, five... So there's one in every single row. Just in case you thought you were a little too safe or something. Let's see, will you aggro? No. Dead. Okay, this might be one of the hard ones. This might be, might be one of the hard ones. If I go up, I'll die instantly. If I go anywhere around here, I'll die instantly. That lures you away for a bit. That's probably for the best. Then I die instantly. Click. That seems to be the gist of this level, though, is that you need to lure them one way or another away. There we go. Now they all live down here. Now I have sword, which is good, because I will need sword now. No, I won't. I actually got away with that. That's surprising. Okay, um... Well, there goes the sword. It'll go to the opening, and then it'll go to where I am. Then it'll kill me. Okay, so I can't do that there either. But how well does this work out? Well, I'm free to get this sword now, just in case. The problem is I'll need it... Yep, there it goes. Okay. That'll be hard. I'll probably need one of the swords for that final spider at the top. Got away without getting flamed on here. The balancing act, I think. Damn it. Same mistake as before. I probably lost now. So you I can go I can get past all of you safely. And you're easy to get. The main risk is this last part. Let's see, if I go in and out one more time, it'll go all the way to... It'll go one, two, then it'll end up here, so I'll die. Same thing here, is I'll be dead pretty quickly. I'm just trying to see if I can... in any way sort of even out how far they go. So, one... Huh. I don't see this working out very well for me. <laughs> Probably not making that one mistake earlier would help here, because I wouldn't have lost that sword the way I have. Come
come at me. Let's see if I can just get away with doing the roundabout here. Is that enough? Shit. Ah. I overlooked one thing, which is that that spider was waiting there. That was very dumb of me. I think I solved it. I think that was all I needed. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Alright. I mean, I need to kill you because you have the next sword waiting here. I almost walked in front of that. This works, right? Yeah. Other swords here. Oh. Got myself killed. Okay, well, let's grab the coin. And now, we, oh yeah, I, I should be, I should be fine. I can just do a roundabout now, because the, that guy's out of the way. Yay! We're fine. Where's the one I'm missing? Ah. I use this as a barometer of how well I've completed the game, and the problem is I don't know. Like, I'm worried, oops. Bump my controller, so switch to controller controller for a second there. Uh, so I'm worried about continuing because it feels like if I go after the killer, I might get in like some sort of point of no return. So I'm trying to find all the computers and anything else I can and do any side quest stuff I can find. But this tells me I'm at 9 out of 10, and that's agonizing. It's probably not even a special reward or anything. It's probably just, you beat the levels, I guess, whatever. But I want to. <laughs>